All right, you know what? It's time for Deathwing to make an appearance. Something's gonna get evolved by three, but it's a freaking 1616. Come on. Huh, this should be interesting. Our Hearthstone highlight this time uses a Control Warrior package that's inspired by Fibonacci's Fun Control deck and Dexter's Big Ripper deck. So Fibonacci's Fun Control deck uses Magtheridon and Galakrond in a control package to buy a bunch of time and close out the game with Galakrond. And Dexter's Big Ripper deck uses a different kind of control package, but uses Dimensional Ripper and the Boom Reaver to help draw out big massive threats, including using Archmage Vargoth with Dimensional Ripper to get extra value and heavy, heavy swings. So using these two decks as an inspiration, we made Galakrond Scrap Ripper. So this is a deck that has a control package, but also incorporates almost a full Galakrond package. But a card added to this list that wasn't in either of those is Scrap Golem, mainly because it benefits from the Galakrond plus four plus four buff and also buys us a bunch of extra time. And extra copies will get us the extra armor we need to close out the game. This is a really fun control deck and we had a lot of fun with it. Now, I believe our win rate would go up if we kept playing it, but we ended up with about a 40% win rate. So if you're looking for a fun way to drop massive minions on the board, including sometimes a 16-16 Deathwing, then you might look at this. So check out this highlight and let me know what you think. Okay, um, rogue. Lackeys, but still, it's okay. All right. Okay, we have Awaken. So we have a clear for lackeys and we have a clear for something bigger. Good, good. Gator power next turn, maybe. Um, Gator power always. <laughs> we obviously don't want to give him dirty tricks value right away, if that's what it is. And he's not getting a uh, poisonous anytime soon. Though we do need to think about that when we play Shield of Galagrond. Oh, wait. Actually, if she triggers poisonous, as long as there's not a taunt on the way, I can just. Um, kill it with the invoke. Do I ever shield slam that? Do I want to kill that soon? Not really. Um, he does get the spell damage and he gets a, um, you know, three attack in. But, no. Sword and board I would totally use. Um, obviously, not excited to use ah, ritual chopper. Fine. I will not this could be bamboozle. In which case we're sad. Not. That's good. Okay. I will act as your there is now a taunt in the way. Awaken does allow us to clear that. And this will draw us either our other Ritual Chopper or our Bulwark. Feels like we haven't actually had the chance to use this, hardly. Okay. Ah, it's that. All right. Shield Slam is insufficient. I hate to use Awaken like this, but... Don't really want to leave that up. We can coin evasive uh, Draconid next turn if we need to, or we can just play Shield of Galakrond. As long as there's not uh, a taunt in the way, then uh, I'm gonna secret up. Okay. So was he? Yeah, no, he didn't know I was a guy. No, he knew we were a Galakrond. I don't think we ever laid 
Raid Storm or Brawl this, it's not really worth it. I mean, heck. That just kills my Tauntaunt. Like, he runs everything in. Obviously, he's not going to do that. Bladestorm would have stopped that. But, I mean, do you... Oh, he had enough mana to do it anyways. So yeah, it didn't matter. Because <laughs> he ended up playing it. Now we do know that he, um... We want to kill that 1-1. One, one. Cargath feels fine. Uh, evasive is no longer exciting because it doesn't deal with that 1-1, one, one, and we know he'll get extra value out of a High Sparon immediately if we don't uh, go ahead and kill that. So if we Cargath, yeah, I don't really want to dump 5 damage into that. We can kill High Sparon with that. So, just get some armor. We're getting close to being able to uh, coin Dimensional Ripper. Oh, but if we coin Dimensional Ripper, Archmage Vargoth could end up cop er, replaying the coin other than the Dimensional Ripper. That would be a little bit disappointing. A The fan is about to get hit. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I like. We've invoked three times. Next turn, we'll start with eight in hand. If we coin, if we just toss the coin, uh, toss a coin to your witcher, no. Um, then we can Galakrond, or we could Dimensional Ripper. But man, we are on a time, well, yeah, Dimensional Ripper may be better first, actually. Okay. The only thing we're sad about is if Archimage of Argoth, if we get Archimage of Argoth, which is awesome, but then he actually um, casts the coin rather than Dimensional Ripper. But a lot of times this is great. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, Ooh, bamboozle. Because nope. Galakron does give us a weapon. That replaces our 2-2. Two -two. Nice. So he only drew two, but he does have a treasure in hand. Now he can generate a lackey and play a discounted uh, Ice Baron. Five to everything. Yep. Alright, that was Kronk's number one of... Six. Go for it. Whatever floats your boat. All right, we need to start killing him. And this will help. I am I am If 
we win this? Good heavens. Okay. I mean, we have brawls that can really help us out. He has used a shadow step. Please tell me he doesn't have another shadow step, by the way. Okay, Deathwing is just freaking insane. Oh, ambush. Um, and I think it triggers. So Deathwing dies. We can do 8 damage to him if we just brawl here. I could sword and board and um, blade flurry, which would be 4 mana. This survives at 1. So it's Bamboozle. We're showing nine with hero power. We have freaking eight, nine scrap golems. Boom Reaver gets us Kargath Prime, Evasive Draconid, Shield of Galakron. Okay. Kargath Prime would be nuts. <laughs> Oh no, no, no. Never mind. Oh, he's going. Uh, do we have a ginormous Edwin coming in? If so, Brawl. Or sometimes Deathwing. <laughs> oh, actually, if we attack into the ginormous Edwin, then, um,. It gets transformed. No? Okay. If it's a poisonous, kill it. It's not. So do we do the face damage here and now? Or do we just drop another... body? Pretty sure we drop another body. Okay. So dirty tricks and bamboozle. If we top deck Shield of Galakrond, I'll probably, now that we have a good target, um, Boom Reaver. Oh, Kargath. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Alright, you know what? It's time for Deathwing to make an appearance. Something's gonna get evolved by three, but it's a freaking 16 16. Come on. Okay, that survives. Okay. We have Kargath. We have a 16-5 on board. Might have been worth killing the 3-2 so he has more difficulty killing 16-5. Because if he eviscerates here, he does have Solarian Prime in the deck, which is terrifying. Um, he also has more, like, okay, that's just one. Oh, <laughs> punished. Uh, sometimes he could have just played, uh, yeah, he would, he could have played a Kronks and, ah, oh, interesting. I thought he was going to put an 8-8 there. Dimensional Ripper gives us Evasive Draconids or Shield of Galakrond. Um... Oh, but that draws him a couple cards. We don't necessarily want that. This gets us a really big body. And 
Evasive Draconid would take out this 6-6. Six, six, which is worth killing, right? I mean, he's gonna just bump it in anyways. And sometimes he has actually um, the Blackjack Stunners. So yeah, whatever. All right, he's got four more Kronkses left. <laughs> and we are actually slowly running out of value. We've had absurd value. Uh, maybe we do Dimensional Ripper next turn. Well, Kargath Prime actually lines up really well against that, and then we... Oh yeah, Kargath Prime kills that. Even if it transforms. And then we hear a power. He's dead. Pretty much always. Still dead. That's going on YouTube. Glad we played it one more time. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. We release videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And if you want to see experiments happening live with the possibility of your comments showing up on a future video, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash ssalchemist. You're awesome. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.